what's in the bag challenge 2022 edition except what's in the bag doesn't want to stay in the bag so that intro was ruined <laughs> well even though that intro was ruined you can still get the bag at shop.hunterhawk.com if you're interested hey everyone welcome to or back to the channel my name is hunter hawk and i make videos to share with reptile keepers around the world this here is bramble and he's the subject of today's video this is the first video in a new series that I'm doing called Species Spotlight, where I talk all about a certain species of reptile or amphibian, and we decide whether or not they're a good pet. Let's get into it. California king snakes are a species of colubrid native to North America. They're probably one of the most commonly kept pet snakes, aside from things like bull pythons and their cousins, the corn snakes. What makes them so popular? Is it because they actually are great pet snakes, or is it because they were one of the first species kept in captivity, and so they're just easy to acquire? We have a lot to dive into in today's video. Before we dive in, I want to mention that Bramble is a California king snake that I am fostering. He was rehomed to Crimson Exotics, which is the reptile rescue that I co-founded and fostered for in September of 2021 because his former owners couldn't get him to eat. He brumated and of course now he's eating properly and he has fortunately found a home where he'll be headed next month so I wanted to film this video while I still have him because he's a pretty cool snake. He's actually heading off to California which is ca characteristic of a California king snake. Anyways if you want to learn more about Bramble I have a YouTube short all about him linked at the end of this video. Now let's get into California king snakes in general as a species. Quickly let's talk about California king snakes in nature. This species, or rather the whole genus, their taxonomy is always changing, but right now they are Lampropeltis californiae, so that's easy enough to remember for a California king snake. In the wild, you'll mostly find California king snakes in California, Arizona, and Nevada, but if you're lucky, you might find one in southern parts of Utah and Oregon as well. They're called king snakes because they are considered the king of the snakes. They'll eat pretty much anything that they can fit into their mouth. Oh gosh, he is really tied around my neck right now, <laughs> including rattlesnakes. So yeah, that's where the term king snakes comes from. Fun fact, the term for an animal that eats snakes is ophiophagy, which means that king snakes are ophiophagous. Now that we know a bit about what these awesome animals are like in the wild, let's talk about them as pets. First, let's talk about one of the biggest factors when choosing whether a pet is right for you, enclosure size. California king snakes are relatively large snakes. They're definitely not the biggest one that people keep as pets, but they do get pretty long. Bramble here is 142 centimeters, which is 4.6 feet long. So I would say that the smallest enclosure that I'd be comfortable permanently housing a California king snake in would be four by two by two feet, which is a pretty easy size reptile enclosure to acquire. Even though it's an easy size enclosure to get your hands on, it's still a pretty big one, so definitely keep that in mind. Now let's talk about the diet because of course that's a pretty important factor when deciding what pet reptile you want to get as well. In the wild they eat a pretty large mix of different things like I talked about earlier. They'll eat pretty much anything they can get a hold of but in captivity most people just feed them frozen thawed mice or rats. A diet of frozen thawed mice or rats is definitely going to meet their nutritional needs and it's pretty simple, but if you want to more accurately replicate their wild diet, I would definitely mix it up. In the wild, mammals only make up about 26% of their prey. They eat a lot of reptiles, birds, and other things as well. Liam from Reptiles and Research made a super cool graph which will be on the screen right now, and if you want to watch a whole video that he made about California king snakes wild diet, definitely check the sources below and I'll have that linked there. All this to say, it's definitely a great idea to add more variety to your California king snakes diet. California king snakes are often recommended as a good first time pet snake to people because they aren't quite as likely to go off of feeding for an extended period of time. Looking at you, Briar. Briar's my hog nose. <laughs> or bull pythons. I wouldn't say that their reputation for having a great appetite is exactly accurate though. Bramble here, like I mentioned, was rehomed to Crimson Exotics because he didn't want to eat for quite some time, but Brumation did the trick and now he's a great eater. We've covered diet and enclosure size, so now what's another important topic when thinking about what pet reptile you want to get? Handleability, which 
I think I'm demonstrating right now. As you can see, I'm handling bramble, so that's a good sign. In general, California king snakes are typically pretty handleable colubrids. I really like handling California king snakes because similarly to corn snakes, they hold on to you. You don't have to give 100% of your focus to just holding on to them like you would uh, something like a hog nose. Overall, if you're looking for a snake that you can handle somewhat regularly, a California king snake is definitely one that I would consider. Now let's talk money. First of all, if you're looking for a way to budget for your new pet reptile, you're in luck. I will have linked in the top right hand corner a video that I made about an awesome online tool where you can create a budget for your new pet reptile for free. Okay, California king snakes are gonna be very similar in cost to other colubrids and other snakes that you'd be generally comparing them to. The startup costs, especially if you're going with something like a naturalistic or bioactive enclosure, which I would definitely recommend for a snake as active as a California king snake, are gonna be somewhat expensive, but they're recurring costs. That's where you definitely win with a California king snake the recurring costs aren't gonna be that much. As an adult, your California king snake is only gonna have to eat a couple of times per month, so they're definitely less expensive than something like a bearded dragon. Now, if you choose to brewmate your California king snake, not only will that likely help increase their lifespan, but it'll also mean that from November, October or November through February or March, you won't have to feed them, so <laughs> that definitely helps reduce the costs. Now that definitely shouldn't be a reason you choose to get a California king snake, but it's certainly a perk of keeping colubrids. All right, real quick, let's recap what we've talked about. California king snakes need a pretty big enclosure. Four by two by two feet is what I would recommend. Their diets can be pretty much as simple as you want, or if you want to have a snake with a complex diet, which is better for their health and enrichment anyway, you can definitely mix it up with California king snakes. Most California king snakes do pretty well with handling, like you're seeing Bramble do right now, and they aren't super expensive. That said, they're not super inexpensive snakes either. <laughs> now for the question of the day, is a California king snake a good pet reptile? And my answer is, that depends on you. For me, I would say that a California king snake would be a great choice. I absolutely love them, and I would definitely choose a California king snake over most other colubrids, but it totally depends on you and what you're looking for in a snake. I really hope that this video did help you decide whether or not the California king snake is the right pet for you. If you're new here and would like to hear me talk more about reptiles and amphibians, definitely subscribe so you don't miss my next video. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. If you want to support my channel while also getting super awesome perks such as a sticker in the mail every month and awesome bonus content, definitely consider joining my Patreon. It's linked in the description below. If you want to learn more about Crimson Exotics, the rescue that I co-founded and am fostering Bramble for, head to crimsonexotics.org. Let me know what species you want to see for the next species spotlight. Once again, my name is Hunter Hauk. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.